Once upon a time in the vibrant city of Las Vegas, there was a rock pop band called Dead Dragons. Formed in 1982, the band consisted of lead singer Jackson Hewitt, his brother Bobby McGee Jr. on bass, Lily Hill, also known as Sister Dragon, on guitar, and Bob Hill, known as Hellboy, on drums. Together, they created a unique sound that captivated audiences across America. Their debut album, Diaper Change Me to Death, released in 1982, showcased their raw talent and rebellious spirit. The album quickly gained popularity, and Dead Dragons became the talk of the town. Their energetic performances and catchy tunes attracted a loyal fanbase, and they soon found themselves touring the country. In 1984, they released their second album, Dear Sister Dragon, which explored themes of love, loss, and personal growth. The album resonated with listeners, and their popularity soared even higher. Dead Dragons were on top of the world, living the rock star lifestyle and enjoying the adoration of their fans. Their third album, Alone, released in 1985, showcased a more introspective side of the band. The songs delved into the struggles of fame and the toll it took on their personal lives. Despite the challenges they faced, Dead Dragons continued to create music that touched the hearts of their fans. In 1988, they released, Don't Scream, an album that pushed the boundaries of their sound. Experimenting with different genres and musical styles, Dead Dragons proved their versatility and artistic growth. The album received critical acclaim and solidified their status as one of the most influential bands of their time. Throughout the 1990s, Dead Dragons continued to release albums that showcased their evolution as musicians. Arts and Crafts, in 1989, Do You Know What You Die Midnight, in 1992, and Dragons Lullabies, in 1994 all received praise for their unique sound and thought-provoking lyrics. It's Time, released in 1997, marked a turning point for the band. They embraced a more mature sound, exploring themes of self-discovery and acceptance. The album resonated with fans who had grown up with the band, and Dead Dragon's music became a soundtrack to their lives. In 2003, they released, Five Nights, an album that paid homage to their early days. The album was a nostalgic journey through their discography, featuring reimagined versions of their most beloved songs. It was a celebration of their journey as a band and the impact they had on their fans. Take Me Hell, released in 2007, showcased a darker and edgier side of Dead Dragons. The album delved into themes of inner demons and personal struggles. It was a departure from their previous sound, but it showcased their ability to adapt and evolve as artists. As the years went by, Dead Dragons continued to release music that pushed boundaries and challenged expectations. Dear Sister Dragon Part 2, in 2010, Kill My Evil Right Now, in 2012, and This Control Us, in 2014 all showcased their growth as musicians and their willingness to explore new territories. In 2016, they released Five Nights Part 2 to 3, a double album that showcased their versatility and creativity. The album was a commercial success and received critical acclaim for its innovative sound and thought-provoking lyrics. Funtime Nightmare Here, released in 2019, marked a return to their roots. The album was a celebration of their legacy and the impact they had on the music industry. It was a testament to their enduring popularity and their ability to reinvent themselves. In 2020, Dead Dragons released, Legends Never Die, a powerful album that paid tribute to their fallen bandmates and celebrated their legacy. The album was a bittersweet reminder of the band's journey and the impact they had on their fans. Left, Me Down Now, in 2021, Dear Sister Dragon Part 3, in 2022, and New Year's Madness, in Christmas 2022 continued to showcase Dead Dragon's ability to create music that resonated with their fans. Afraid of the Dark, in 2023 and Goodbye 2023, in Christmas 2023 marked the end of an era. The band announced their retirement, leaving behind a legacy that would forever be remembered. In 2024, Dead Dragons released their final album, Final Fantasy. It was a fitting end to their journey, a culmination of their years of hard work and dedication. The album was a tribute to their fans, a thank you for their unwavering support throughout the years. And so, the story of Dead Dragons came to a close. Their music would forever live on, a testament to their talent and the impact they had on the world. They may be gone, but their legacy would never die.